It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh, no, nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all the way. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, totally. 
I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? Th that makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Cause they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him cause they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping? God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being hopeful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. This is way better. Why didn't you think of this first? I don't know, I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, it's not the dark, it's just really red in here. I feel like the hoe's in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Uh-oh. We were just, um, developing pictures. But you're not even in this period. Okay, well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the darkroom to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding a leaf is gonna wow Georgetown? Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. I'm not putting up with this. I'm gonna get the principal and you guys are gonna be expelled for good. Oh shit. You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? what You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? I, I don't have big love handles. Don't be ashamed, right, Jekka? Uh, yeah, um, Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, I gotta go to math now. Math class? You doing good at math? A for the year? A plus, actually. 
Is the plus for plus sized? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Is that extra cheese at Chipotle necessary? I don't get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. It'd be so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Black boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, you don't like black guys? Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> I'm not racist! Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. I feel like we just gave her more fuel. Yeah, that might have entirely backfired. Yeah. God, I'm so hungry after doing that. The Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the Cheesy Biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the Cheesy Biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. We need to hang out less. We need to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. New hiding spot. I couldn't sell a single Addy. It's like Catholic school all over again. Are we going in circles? Yeah, this does look familiar. There you are! You have a lot of explaining to do! Shit, back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why referring to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy PowerPoints. They don't imply they're molesters. Come on, it was an isolated incident. Won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? No, but I guess I am. Oh, it's empty. I told you this is a good hiding spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the fuck threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I just want to be loved! <laughs> you bullied her into being fucking bulimic! Dude, she was probably already bulimic. <laughs> I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> See, told ya, we had nothing to do with this. Well, if we don't get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. God, we gotta change, too. We probably smell like vomit by now. <laughs> yeah, now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how we made a bulimic girl relapse. <laughs> can I have it? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own.
Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> so anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. (laughs) No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... uh... Like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. (laughs) All right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. So just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. Yeah, no fight in you, huh? What the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent. Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's J-Lo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script than this? I totally could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So, if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Who the fuck would want to watch that? Her superpower is nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or... You're not getting it. 
I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me! Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject! We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead! Call me ugly again. No thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring, and then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass, though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no. I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. Oh. Sorry, no. 
So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's going to be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're going to act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! Oh. Wasn't that kind of harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it. But, uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like... uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, Honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor-actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But me, personally, I love role-playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role-playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. (laughs) I'll do it. (gasps) Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just gonna serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I gonna do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But... But what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, 
Uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well... Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. You know world star hip-hop? No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone, like, all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it, too, so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh, why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why you want to include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway, who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you, and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? Yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Uh, Like- Like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah. 
And while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and... Oh, God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And... You're going to tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um... Drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French too and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. While he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those, those. 
Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you going to tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do want to do? You know what I want to do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil' Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So, playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay, thanks guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. I haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... I got him. Got what? You know what. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. We're on less than five, guys. Phones off. Let's get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you, too.
We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like 10 times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough.